Happy New Year! It is 2016 and if you've been reading the astrological reports, you know that Mercury is retrograde right now. Not my favorite time of year. What does this mean though? You've never heard of Mercury retrograde? Well, what it means is that the planet Mercury, which like the god Mercury, rules communication, rules travel, rules technology, is moving backwards in the sky. As it's moving backwards, it's causing some disruptions in those things. Have you been having a little bit of miscommunication with your spouse, your best friend, your kids? This might be why. Computers crashing, cars won't turn on, fender benders, Mercury retrograde can be blamed. It happens about three to four times a year. And we have one early this year. I'm not an astrologer. I'm not going to pretend to know more than that. Um, but I am going to talk for a moment about how a Mercury retrograde and this astrological occurrence can have an impact on us spiritual folks because we do encounter our own unique issues with when Mercury goes retrograde. Fortunately, on the spiritual plane where our guides, our loved ones, the ascended masters exist, they exist outside of time and space. And they are not really influenced and affected by the uh, results of Mercury retrograde. Unfortunately, when they want to communicate with us here on the Earth plane, that's you, that's me, that's anyone who's intuitive, anyone who's looking for signs, messages, it gets a little bit fuzzy because we are impacted by Mercury retrograde. Unfortunately, it can frustrate our loved ones, our guides, the ascended masters a little bit when we don't get the messages clearly. And as a result, we get those messages hit across our head by a two by four. I can tell you that's been the case for me recently. I am usually not one who dreams. When I'm, my guides can't get a hold of me in the daytime, they give it to me at night. So the past few days since Mercury's gone retrograde, my dreams have been alive, they've been vivid, because at that point, I am, out, I am outside of the time and space continuum. So I do want to encourage you to listen closely. That's one of the best things that you can do when you are trying to communicate with spirit, especially when Mercury is retrograde. Also watch your dreams because if they can't communicate with you during the daytime, they're going to be talking to you at night. That is when you are closer and higher in vibration to them. And again, the earthly plane has less of an impact on you. With all that said, hold tight until the end of January because at that point, Mercury is going to redirect itself. It's going to start moving straight in the sky again. Communication will resolve itself, contracts will resolve themselves, travel, technology, all of a sudden it will get back to normal. Good luck in the meantime, Listen, remember listen closely and don't get frustrated with yourself. I hope that answers your question. Keep them coming. Check me out on Facebook, check out my website, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for listening and I'll be talking to you again real soon.